The National Weather Service, by the way, just issued its latest bulletin on the storm. And that's why we want to speak to our senior meteorologist, Janice Dean, who's live in the Fox Extreme Weather Center for us now. JD, what, what, what have you learned? Well, we've learned that this is a Category 4 now. Uh, it is strengthened. The National Hurricane Center has been right on with their forecast. And this has been a major hurricane for almost a week now, which is a record for Atlantic Basin hurricanes in October. So we're watching Matthew very carefully uh, west of Nassau now in the Bahamas. And now we're expecting the next few hours as it makes its approach to Florida. Hurricane warnings in effect for 10 million people, upwards of 10 million people, and now stretching into portions of Georgia and South Carolina. You can see on the radar, we're already getting those outer bands moving into South Florida. You can see that very well-defined eye here. And there is the chance for more strengthening as it comes close to land. And whether or not it makes a landfall is, is really not the story. The story is we have the core of the strongest winds coming very close or onshore of the east coast of Florida for 200 miles, the possibility of that. And that's why we're saying that there is the potential for catastrophic damage along the coast here. So here's the future radar. And this is going to be an all overnight event Friday in to Saturday uh, for all of these coastal, uh, folks along the east coast of Florida up towards the northeast Florida coastline as well as into Georgia and South Carolina. So very dangerous. Uh, Rick Scott, the governor of Florida, certainly gave us uh, some, you know, some good information in that interview at the top of the hour. But it, a little bit of a sinking feeling because the, the forecast track is coming true, unfortunately. And as you go through time, I know it looks a little bizarre because it makes this weird curve, which we're going to certainly talk about in the weekend. But for the foreseeable future, we're going to be dealing with a major hurricane for 60 hours, at least 60 hours along the coast with very dangerous conditions. This is brand new, too. So major hurricane and then coming very close to southeast Georgia here and the Carolinas. Uh, so again, you know, not only just Florida, but now we're getting into Georgia. And then after that, we're going to watch this potential curve. But let's not deal with that right now. Let's deal with the potential impacts. And that is not only the storm surge, but the strong hurricane force winds along the coast for a period of 40, maybe 60 hours. And then the rainfall, we could see upwards of 10 to 12 inches along the coast of Florida and the tropical models are now really coming into very good agreement that a very close brush or landfall with Florida and then into Georgia and the Carolinas. So, um, you know, I, I just wish the forecast wasn't coming true, uh, but we just have to heed those warnings and we'll certainly bring you the very latest. Back to you. JD, I just noticed a change in tone. Uh, just after you heard the the latest bulletin, and I, I think that that's sinking in with me because I've seen you report on this hurricane over the last several days. It just seems that you really feel the weight of this forecast. You know, I, the last time I felt sort of this pit in my stomach was Hurricane Katrina. Uh, because you just see it happening and you don't want the forecast to come true. And then, listen, there's still hopefully a chance that most of it stays offshore, and I'm really hoping that that is the possibility. But we have to, like Governor Scott says, prepare for the worst and make sure our friends and family are safe. And just make sure Florida and the southeast coast is safe, and then, you know, hopefully our job is done. We'll go from there. J.D., great to see you as always. Good information for us, okay. and it's, it continues to be our big story today, of course. At least we have the forecast tools, which I, uh, 40, 50, 60 years ago we didn't have. Can you